Creative Gems, welcome to Creativity. How's everyone today? I'm Sandy and today I'm going to show you how to turn two empty plastic bottles into beautiful glam flower vases. The design for both of today's DIY vases are Z Gallery inspired. On the Z Gallery website, their Vargas vase regularly retails for $199.95. It has a tightly packed linear pattern. Both of mine will also have a similar pattern, but with my own added design elements, which you will see later. To start, I will list out the materials. We will need two clear empty plastic bottles. These ones probably held juice or milk and have been washed out so they are clean. For our second vase, I will be giving it a bit of a height, so we will also be using this small plastic bowl from Dollar Tree that comes in a set of 12. We will also need some beaded necklace. These ones are from Dollar Tree and came in both gold and silver. I will be adding my own design element to the vases, so we'll also be using some of this rhinestone ribbon. I have on occasion seen this at Dollar Store, but if you're unable to find them, you can also purchase them from Amazon. For our second vase, we will also be using this white pearl ribbon, which I purchased from Amazon. You will see later that on the back side of the pearls, it is flat, which makes it easy to work with. And to help us with today's craft project, we will also be using our handy dandy hot glue gun. This one was purchased from Amazon. For our first vase, we will be adhering the gold beaded necklace strings cut to size to the bottle. I have chosen to use hot glue to adhere each string vertically. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once you have the first string of beads adhered to the bottle, continue with the same pattern all around the bottle. You will see here that I'm applying about two inches of glue at a time. That is so the hot glue will adhere the beads to the bottle without cooling down too fast. And here is what our first vase looks like so far. You will notice that as we get closer to completing the entire bottle, that the string of beads are no longer being placed straight down in the same lengths. That is because there is a curve to the bottle. Eventually, we will need to start sizing and cutting the beads to fill in the space for the rest of the bottle.
Here I will be gluing down a row of silver rhinestone ribbon to create a collar for the neck of the bottle. This will give a beautiful contrast between the striking gold in the body of the vase with some sparkling silver towards the neck. And here is the final look for vase number one. For our second vase, we will adhere the rows of pearl beads around the second plastic bottle. But this time, I will be placing the bead rows horizontally around the bottle. As we get closer to the neck of the vase, we will want to reduce the rows of pearls as we adhere them onto the slimmer part of the bottle. To give this second vase some height, we will be embellishing a small plastic bowl with the same pearl beads in a similar fashion. Then, we apply some hot glue to the bottom of the bottle and adhere it to the bottom of the small plastic bowl. Similar to the first vase we made, I will be gluing down a row of silver rhinestone ribbon to create a collar for the neck. However, this time, I will make the collar taller by going all the way to the rim. the final look for our second vase. Comment down below and let me know which vase you prefer, the gold one or the pearl one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share it with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon!